Hello everyone, welcome to Current Affairs MCQ's program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. The question was, sometimes seen in the news, the Banner Ghata National Park is located in which of the following Indian states? Chhattisgarh, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh or Karnataka? The correct answer is option D, Karnataka. Recently, the Supreme Court appointed Central Empowered Committee recently directed the office of the Chief Secretary of Karnataka to submit a response on the issue of encroachment of the eco-sensitive zone of Banner Ghata National Park. It is located near Bangalore, Karnataka in the hills of the Anical Range. The flora consists include Narcissus letifolia, Sclicera oleosa, sandalwood, neem, tamarind, bamboo, eucalyptus, etc. It is a prime habitat for several species including the endangered Asian elephant, Indian gaur, tiger, samba deer, spotted deer, leopard, wild dog, wild pig, sloth bear, common mongoose, pangoling, slender loris, black-naped hare, etc. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding the jet streams. 1. They generally blow from east to west across the globe. 2. They form when warm air masses meet cold air masses in the atmosphere. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2, or neither 1 nor 2? The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently, the James Webb Telescope recently unveiled a stunning image of Jupiter featuring snapshots of extraordinarily fast jet streams racing across the planet's equator. The jet streams are bands of strong that generally blow west to east all across the globe. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. Jet streams form when warm masses meet cold air masses in the atmosphere. Hence, statement 2 is correct. A jet stream is a type of air current that forms high in the atmosphere. On average, jet streams move at about 110 miles per hour. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. The next question is, Consider the following statements regarding the withholding tax recently seen in the news. 1. It is applicable in the case of payments made to non-resident individuals. 2. The tax rate is decided on the basis of provisions in the Income Tax Act 1961 only. 3. It is also known as retention tax. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option B, only two. Recently, the Supreme Court has held that without an express notification, the companies cannot automatically claim lower withholding tax of 5%, even if provided for in the Direct Tax Avoidance Agreement. It is withheld or deducted from certain types of income such as wages, dividends, interest and royalties when they are paid to the recipient, non-resident individual. The withholding tax is applicable in the case of payments made to non-resident individuals, hence Statement 1 is correct. The tax rate is decided as prescribed in the Income Tax Act 1961 or Double Taxation Avoidance Agreement, whichever is lower. Hence, Statement 2 is not correct. This tax is also known as Retention Tax, hence Statement 3 is correct. Therefore, Option B is the correct answer. Next question is, Recently seen in the news, the Pobitora Wildlife Sanctuary is located in which of the following? Assam, Manipur, West Bengal or Tripura? The correct answer is option A, Assam. Recently, the Pobitora Wildlife Sanctuary has been opened officially once again. It is known for its population of one horned rhinoceros. It is located on the southern bank of the river Brahmaputra in Morigaon district, adjacent to Guwahati in Assam. It was declared a reserve force in 1971 and a wildlife sanctuary in 1987. It is home to the highest population density of the Indian one horned rhinoceros species around 102 rhinos in an area of 38.8 square kilometer. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. The next question is, consider the following statements regarding the neurocysticirrhosis. 1. It is caused by the fish tapeworm. 2. It is caused by consuming undercooked food only. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D, neither 1 nor 2. Recently, the health experts have shared information on neurocysticirrhosis. It is a parasitic infection of the central nervous system and is caused by the poke tip worm, Tinea solium. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. If left untreated, a more serious condition known as cysticirrhosis develops as T. solium larvae invade body tissues. Humans become infected after consuming undercooked food, particularly pork, or water contaminated with tapeworm eggs or through poor hygiene practices. 
Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. The next question is, Recently seen in the news, the Idakkal Caves are located in which of the following? Barabar Hills, Udaygiri Hills, Ambukuthi Hills or Ananthgiri Hills? The correct answer is option C, Ambukuthi Hills. Recently, the Kerala Tourism launched a 2.9 crore rupee project to improve civic amenities around the Idakkal Caves in Vayanad. These caves are located 3,900 feet above sea level in the majestic Ambukuthi Hills. The unique, intricate stone carvings date back to Neolithic and Mesolithic ages. The caves are two natural formations that are believed to have been formed by a large split in a huge rock. Human figures, animals, tools, vehicles, day-to-day -day occurrences and scripts in different languages have been discovered here. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. The next question is, consider the following statements regarding the paintbrush swift butterfly. One. In India, it is found only in Himachal Pradesh. 2. It was first described by Lepidopterist Frederick Moore. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2, or neither 1 nor 2? The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently, the paintbrush swift butterfly has been photographed and documented for the first time in Himachal Pradesh, Chamba district. It is a butterfly species of the Hesperidae family. The species has never been photographed in Himachal Pradesh since its discovery in 1878. Its habitat is distributed in northeast, central and south India and rare in Uttarakhand. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. It was first discovered by Lepidopterist Frederick Moore more than 145 years ago. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. The next question is, consider the following statements regarding the guillain barr syndrome. It is an autoimmune disorder. It is more common in females. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two? The correct answer is option A, one only. Recently, in a study conducted in Israel, a connection was found between COVID-19 infection and a higher likelihood of being diagnosed with Guillain-Barr syndrome within six weeks. It is a rare autoimmune disorder where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks the peripheral nerves. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It is more common in adults and males, but it can affect people of all ages. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. There is still no cure for this syndrome. Among the few first symptoms of this syndrome are weakness or tingling sensation. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. The next question is, Recently seen in the news, the exercise Hari Mao Shakti 2023 is held between which of the following? India and Indonesia, India and Nepal, India and Sri Lanka or India and Malaysia? The correct answer is option D, India and Malaysia. Recently, the joint bilateral training exercise Hari Mao Shakti 2023 commenced between Indian and Malaysian armies in Umroi Cantonment, India. The Malaysian Army contingent comprises troops from 5th Royal Battalion of Malaysian Army. The Indian contingent is being represented by a battalion of the Rajput Regiment. The last edition of the exercise was conducted in Pulai Kulang, Malaysia in November 2022. Exercise Harimau Shakti scheduled till 5th November 2023 will engage approximately 120 personnel from both sides. It is aimed at enhancing military capability for conduct of multi-domain operations in a sub-conventional scenario. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. The next question is, sometimes seen in the news, the Pradhan Mantri Anusuchit Jati Abhudya Yojana is an initiative of which of the following ministries? Ministry of Minority Affairs, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Ministry of Panchayati Raj or Ministry of Tribal Affairs. The correct answer is option B, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Recently, the Pradhan Mantri Anusuchit Jati Abhudaya Yojana was seen in the news. PM Ajay is a merged scheme of three centrally sponsored scheme, namely Pradhan Mantri Adarsh Gram Yojana, Special Assistance to Schedule Cast Sub Plan, and Babu Jagjeevan Ram Chhatravas Yojana. It has been implemented since 2021 to 2022 with an aim to reduce poverty of scheduled caste by the generation of additional employment opportunities through skill development, income generating schemes and other initiatives. This scheme has three components, development of SC-dominated villages into an Adarsh Gram, grants in aid for district or state level projects for socio-economic betterment of SCs, and construction of hostels in higher educational institutions. 
Therefore, option B is the correct answer. The last question is, consider the following statements regarding the cognitive computing. 1. It is a system that simulates human thought processes through advanced technologies. 2. It does not use the artificial intelligence. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2, or neither 1 nor 2? The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, a report was published which stated that the global cognitive computing market size reached US dollar 32.8 billion. Cognitive computing is the use of computerized models to simulate the human thought process in complex situations where the answers might be ambiguous and uncertain. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The cognitive computing uses artificial intelligence and other technologies such as machine learning, speech recognition, deep learning, etc. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. It uses these processes in conjunction with self-learning algorithms, data analysis, and pattern recognition to teach computing system. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. Recently seen in the news, the Adi Mahotsav is an initiative of which of the following? National Scheduled Tribes Finance and Development Corporation, Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment or International Work Group for Indigenous Affairs. Send the answer to this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you for watching.